$1.6 billion arms deal between South Korea and Egypt. After President Joe Biden's administration authorized another huge weapons sale to Egypt, South Korea said on Tuesday that it had inked a $1.6 billion arms agreement with the country. According to the sole office of President Moon Jae-in, Egypt's purchase of K-9 self-propelled howitzers is South Korea's largest export contract to date. Hanfar Defense is the company that makes it. Egypt will buy howitzers from Moon's office, but no other information was given, including the number of howitzers Egypt would acquire. Egypt did not immediately respond to the news. When Abdel Fattah el-Sisi met with Moon in Cairo two weeks ago, the statement was made on Tuesday, which was two weeks after that meeting. An Egyptian president has not visited South Korea in 16 years, the state-run newspaper Al Aram said. According to a statement from Egypt's military, Defense Minister General Mohamed Zaki was in South Korea on Tuesday for the signing ceremony. An artillery system would be manufactured in Egypt and then transferred to the country, according to the agreement. Also, Egypt's military said that the two nations inked two memoranda of understanding on bilateral military cooperation. Also in November, when Egypt hosted its second international arms expo, El Sisi met with Hanfar Defense CEO Kim Sung Mo in Cairo. The United States declared last week that it will sell Egypt $2.5 billion worth of armaments. 12 C-130 transport aircraft and associated equipment valued at $2.2 billion, as well as air defense radar systems valued at around $355 million, were part of the agreement. Arms treaties with Western countries and Russia have helped Egypt to strengthen its military in recent years, making it one of the world's largest importers of weapons. As a result of the discovery of huge gas resources in the Mediterranean seas, it has established new military bases and boosted its naval and air force. Such deals have been criticized by rights activists who say the Egyptian government is putting a lot of pressure on people who don't agree with them. As a result of human rights concerns, the Biden administration announced last week that it had halted $130 million in military assistance to Egypt. Thank you.